What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Furrow Publications YouTube channel. On this channel we talk about zines and DIY publishing. And today I want to talk to you guys about Javier Hernandez, the Los Comics Codex. It's a print on demand book that you can find on Amazon for 15 bucks. And uh, Javier Hernandez is a cartoonist that I, I like a lot. You guys probably have seen some of my other reviews of some of his other work. He has a very, a very human approach to storytelling as well as uh, you know stories and characters that are very rooted in Chicano culture and so I love his work and so we're gonna get into this book today but in particular I want to talk about the comics that I haven't seen which is the reason why I bought this which is Man Swamp, The Coma, and Dead Dinosario. Those are the three comic books that I have never read from Javier Hernandez and I have it now so we're gonna go ahead and read this and talk about it so let's roll. One of the first things that I want to mention is cracking the codex. In this portion of it, Javier Hernandez looks back but also talks about what propelled him into DIY publishing, into self-publishing. And he talks about, and I quote, The work for hire route, the idea of working on my favorite childhood characters for these companies just didn't appeal to me. I continue to enjoy my old comic collection as a fan, but that would be the extent. And then he talks about how I'd have to do all the work myself, production, obtaining a printer, marketing, distribution, but the more I thought about this, I was convinced that it was the only route I wanted to take. Taking complete control of my own characters and charting my own course in the success of my comics had really begun to appeal to me. Off the back, anytime you can get some words, some written words from Javier Hernandez, it's worth a read. Very empowering stuff. So what did I think about these stories? To begin with, there's a lot of different things that I enjoy in each story, and that's something that's just just more respects to Javier Hernandez, right? Like each story differs very, very widely. The thing I enjoyed about Man Swamp more than anything is that it was actually the pencil art. And, uh, and it's very strange and experimental to me to hear of a cartoonist who has hella good inking skills basically decide to upload uh, the pencil art. But it was very fun for me as a fan of Javier Hernandez to see the pencil art and, and just and just look at the art and, and a lot of this man swamp a lot of it really revolves around the art after that we have the coma the coma is the reason why i purchased this because when i heard javier hernandez on his youtube channel talking about this character i just couldn't help myself i, I really felt like this character uh, has a, a like a very fertile premise like it's it's an amazing premise um, and after reading it I have to say that without a doubt this is probably one of the most interesting characters that I've come across in uh, underground comics and like independent comics I think that the idea of like this centralized uh, unifying stream of consciousness that all beings possess the idea that there's thousands of p planets and galaxies and like the story is amazing. It's, it's just really well done. I really enjoyed the art. I enjoyed the, the whole mythos of it. Like I said, like like as I was reading it, I could just picture a monthly series. And like I was like, they can go here, there, 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 there. Another thing that I really enjoyed about the character is he reminds me of uh, Darkman. I don't know how, how many people remember Darkman, the Sam Raimi uh, movie, and became a trilogy. Uh, but man, oh man, did I grow up loving those movies. And so the design... It's a lot like that, mixed with Doctor Strange, so love the character design as well. Crime has a new enemy, and justice has a brand new face. And lastly, Dead Dinosario is um, by far the strongest, most impactful, the most emotionally triggering story in this book. You can't help but to just feel feel a pain in your chest. Um, the story revolves around this this boy who's watching a holocaust of his people, uh, a young Aztec boy watching ultimately the Spaniards destroy Tenochtitlan, and it's just a sad story. And it has a happy ending. And I just I just found it beautiful and poetic. And and like Javier does that from time to time. He gets hella poetic. And I think that's one of those occasions of like. Like there's the there's the El Muerto comic that's in color that's that just reads like a long poem and this is something similar to that of like it's a very poetic 
uh, story. Amazingly done, amazingly written. The art speaks for itself and um, there's a real emotional element to it that really, really hits you, man. But that's all I got for you guys today, man. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Later.